This is John from Connects Medical, and today I'm going to explain how to work your CPM. Let's start off by showing you how to put your leg in your CPM. And loosen the two knobs on the back. This is where your foot is going to go, so adjust it accordingly. Then tighten it back up when you find the right position. You will see two more knobs in front of the knobs you just unloosened. This is where you can figure out the length of your CPM so that your foot is flush on the back. There is one more adjustment towards the end of the CPM. This adjustment will slide up and down to make sure your knee is properly placed in the right position. Now that you know how to adjust your CPM, now let's put your foot in. Start unstrapping the thigh strap and the foot strap. You will see you have three pads. The first pad is where your thigh is going to be. The next pad is your calf pad. And then the last pad is where your foot is going to be placed. In between the thigh pad and the calf pad, this is where your knee needs to be. Now place your leg into the CPM and make sure that your knee is lined up between the thigh pad and the calf pad and that your foot is flush on the back of the foot pad. Then put your thigh strap on and then put the strap over your foot. Now that you're strapped in, press start on your controller and the machine will start bending your knee. There are a few CPM remotes. I'm going to explain each of them. On all of our CPMs, the power button is located right next to the plug-in. Start by powering on your machine. Your OptiFlex remote, start by clicking the menu button. This will bring up four selections. Click the far right button with the knee that is bent. This will bring up the degrees of your flexion. You can press the plus button to raise it and the minus button to decrease it to find the range that you may need. Now click the far left button with the straight leg. This button is for the extension of your leg. You can raise it by pressing the plus button and decrease it by pressing the minus button. When you have your degrees set, just press the stop button and go back to the main screen. Then simply just press start and the CPM will start moving. With the Spectra controller, Start by clicking the right limit button with the arrow pointing up. This is for your flexion and you will see the degrees on the right of the screen. You can raise it by pressing the plus button and decrease it by pressing the minus button. To change your extension, click the limit button on the left with the arrow pointing down. You will also change the degrees by pressing the plus button to raise it and the minus button to decrease it. When you have your degrees set, click the stop button and then press start to start running your CPM. With the OptiFlex K1 controller, you can change your degree of flexion by pushing down and twisting the knob on the top right with the bent knee. Pushing down and twisting it right will increase the degrees and pushing it down and twisting it left will decrease the degrees. To change your extension, you will push in and twist the top left knob with the straight leg. This works the same way by pushing in and twisting it to increase and decrease your degrees. When your degrees are set, just push the red button to start the CPM. To change the degrees on your OptiFlex 3, you must hold down the button with the bent knee and press up or down to increase or decrease the degrees. Same thing with the extension, press and hold down the button with the straight leg and press the up or down arrow to increase or decrease the extension. Once your degrees are set, all you have to do is press the red button to start your CPM. When you are done with your CPM, make sure the degrees go back to zero and then press stop. This will make it easier for you to put it back on the next time. Thanks for watching, and all of us at Connects Medical, thank you for choosing our services and hope you have a speedy recovery.